The word Jatropha could as well be Greek to many. To the people of Kuala and Tana River region, the word had little meaning until three years ago. It is a household name here, one that symbolizes hope for the people and the planet. A section of residents of Kuala and Tana River have come to adopt the concept of fuels acquired from plants and are now growing the Jatropha plant, a drought-resistant crop that has the ability to produce fuel. Biofuels could actually be an option for the Kenyan people. The fact of the matter is the several proposals that we have on the table for biofuel production are not meant for the Kenyan market. It's mainly to help uh, improve the environment, run machines, run cars, uh, run factories with less carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. This community-based organization is practically thriving on the success of the growth and production of biofuel from Jatropha for use for their daily energy needs. They use the oil for their lamps, powering their machines, and the seed cake or residue that comes out from squeezing the Jatropha seeds as fertilizer. Kenya Power Lighting, generator ambayo inatumia haya mafuta ya ya bio diesel ya kutoka kwa Jatropha Since majority of ranches within the Tana Delta have no sedentary herds therefore large stretches of land often seem idle environmentalists are warning residents that despite the success of the plant at small scale level they should not be driven by greed for money and opt to practice large scale production of the crop As Nature Kenya and environmentalists in general what we are saying is that first we need to pilot. Let's not go full scale. Several investment companies have stepped up efforts to acquire land from the region to practice mass production of the perceived wonder crop. When we look at what is happening elsewhere in the world, we see you know, projects that have come in Tanzania, in uh, Mozambique, and uh, they have been implemented. People have lost land on which they live, their ancestral land and then the projects have also failed. And then when you look at these communities, they end up being poorer. So the current science has shown that Jatropha does not do well in these areas. It's not the wonder crop. Kenyans are being urged not to fall victim to the get-rich-quick scheme and eventually lease their land to anyone in the name of cultivating Jatropha in mass. Let's do it at a scale where it works, maybe just for fuel for use at a domestic level. Farmers have also been advised that the seed cake can also serve as feed for biogas production through anaerobic digestion before it is applied as fertilizer, which can help reduce inputs needed for both jatropha cultivation and other agricultural crops. However, they have been cautioned about handling the byproducts of the plant, which are said to contain an acid that may promote skin cancer and skin irritation for farm workers. For Green Quest, I'm Shep Oluchiri.